Hi all. Welcome back to our science class. This week we are discussing, we are reviewing our chapter 6 lesson 4 about how can earth surface change rapidly. Textbook pages from 260 to 265. So the objectives of uh, our lesson to understand the vocabulary uh, or the word to know in this topic that is fault to know more about volcanoes to differentiate floods to drought so earth's moving plates earth's outer crust rests on top of another layer called mantle you know that the layer of earth the outermost layer is crust it is rest on mantle the crust and the top of the mantle are divided into very large pieces called plates you know that the plates move all the time this movement can cause rapid changes in earth surface volcanoes an earthquake often occurs in bands along or near the place where continental plates and ocean plates come together. So usually the volcanoes and earthquake occurs near this uh, along the uh, plates. Okay. So we can discuss one by one the volcanoes. What do you mean by volcanoes? A volcano is a landform that forms at an opening in Earth's crest where magma reaches the surface. So what do you mean by magma? Yes, magma is very hot, partially melted rock. But when a volcano erupts, the magma reaches the surface and is called lava. You know that lava is still hot. Uh, near the temperature 1100 degrees celsius the temperature and kind of rock that makes up magma determine the type of eruption so during volcano the lava and ash can spread over wide area uh, so uh, an eruption can also cause floods landslides a tsunami which are huge ocean waves so that's about volcano. Next one. Earthquake. Earthquake occurs along a fault. A sudden violent shaking of the ground typically causing a great destruction as a result of movement, movements within the earth's crust or volcanic action. So, earthquake occurs along the fault. What do you mean by fault? It is a break or crack in rocks where earth's crust can move suddenly. So, usually earthquake occurs at the fault. Okay. You know that most earthquakes are small. But a few earthquakes are more powerful enough to damage building, roads and bridges. Then, uh, as you know, as you see the picture... Uh, flood uh, long period of rainfall or heavy storm can cause flood building uh, the floods can produce rapid changes fast moving water in flash flood can uproot trees carrying away big rocks and change where rivers flow so flood flood also can leave land covered with sand and mud so that's about flood, a long period of rainfall or heavy storm that can cause flood. Now a drought. Sometimes an area experiences a period of weather that is much drier than usual. Periods of unusually low rain or snowfall are called drought. So a drought is a long period of dryness with little or no precipitation. Uh, that's only uh, this lesson about how can a surface change rapidly and for more videos watch this YouTube link.
Thank you all.